Welcome to JIL Software Solutions Business Channel. My name is Selena Burke, and today's topic is a little different. We're going to focus on how to set controls to get your child off of its Xbox. Microsoft has created logic into its system that allows you to stop your child at a certain time of the day so that there will not be any conversation when you say, hey, come downstairs to eat. You don't have to worry about one more second, mom. Right after this game, mom, hold on, mom. Please, mom, why? That's not a conversation. The reason why is because in the parent setting, so first of all, you have to make sure that you are the parent on your child's account. And if you're not, then you need to change that. And as the parent on the account, you're able to control what time your child logs off and what time they log on. For instance, with my son, I have a setup that he cannot get on the game to a certain time on weekdays. And that's after he's finished with school, after he's finished with his chores. And so I've timed that to a to a, to a certain time and everybody household is going to be a little different so at a certain time he knows that every day and the reason why i really love this here is because he's aware of the time so he knows that if the game comes on every day at three o'clock that means he has to have everything done because if he does it what i do and i do it intentionally mother's parents you're, you're gonna understand this right so if his chore is to empty the garbage and he did not empty the garbage and i noticed that he didn't empty the garbage oh, maybe at 2 45 i don't say a word i patiently wait i wait and as soon as three o'clock comes i know i hear his door shut he's getting all set up and he ready to play the game and I wait until he's five minutes into it. And then I turn the game off with my phone. And then he comes running out. There's something wrong with the internet. There's nothing wrong with the internet. Didn't I tell you to empty that garbage? Now go empty the garbage. That has happened to him so many times. And I know it's mean, but it's real, right? It has happened so many times that now the garbage issue the chore issue is not a thing. Now it happens because he's human, right? And so sometimes he does forget with his day-to-day -day tasks. And everybody, you know, no one's perfect, right? But it's less likely to happen in my household because it had it used to happen so many times and I have stopped him in the middle of a game so many times and he hates that, that he refused to allow that to happen. So up to that time he's doing everything that he's supposed to do his work is done his room is clean the chores are done he's ready it's game time because he wants to get into that game because he only have until six o'clock and the game goes off so you have a three hour window and so he does not want to be interrupted during that time and so because he knows that it's a set time it's non-negotiable. There is no discussion. You start and you end at that time. If you mess up between that time or you have to stop to empty the garbage, I'm not extending your time. He knows that. And so now I'm training him, right? That there's a time that one day you're going to have to go to work or you're going to be running your business. And whatever that time is, you need to make sure that you're doing everything that you're supposed to so that you can do it within the time slots allotted, right? So that that Xbox does not click in until three o'clock and we eat dinner at six. Six o'clock sharp, that game is going off. And like clockwork, he come down the stairs because he knows it's dinner time. He knows just based off of that. And on the weekend, he knows exactly what time in the game start. He knows what times it ends. He knows on a weekend, it goes off at 6. But he's getting through his meal because he had 30 minutes because it's coming back on at 6.30. All of these functionalities, I can set through the Microsoft portal as a parent. I also, 
when he's done something as a reward, when he wants to buy V bucks, I can actually remove the child restriction, add money, allow him to make that purchase, and then press a button. What without even have to get it, without even having to get up and do anything or move. All I have to do is type in the keyboard, this, that. He does it. He said, I got it. I set the settings back so he can't purchase an item because you want to put some type of constraint on also their purchases. So if your card, if you're doing Xbox Live, you want to actually make sure that because now you're doing Xbox Live, you have your credit card on file. So you want to make sure that they're not making random purchases. And so there's a feature there that shows that you are that you can prevent your child from spending. You can prevent how much money they spend. And so all of these features are already there for you to help you. So you already have the rules set. But sometimes when you're doing your day to day and you really don't have time to look at the clock or remember to look at the clock to say, oh my God, this boy been playing this game for so many hours. Microsoft has helped you in taking away that for, for, for you. You don't have to do that anymore. It does it for you. And so I thought this here, you know, JIL Software Solutions does a lot. We create websites, we create application development, but in essence, we provide software solutions. And Microsoft has a software, and it's gonna it's a solution for your problem with your child. It's going to help you put some control constraints on the the amount of time that they're on the game, and then it takes away the hassle of having a conversation back and forth because you've already set a rule. They know what it is, and they probably get your kid to start doing the things that they're supposed to do before game time goes off. So hopefully I said something that would actually help you um, to control the, the time constraints that your child are spending. I'm hearing a lot of parents and their kids are spending way too much time on the game. And then it's a, such a hassle to get them off. And this is back and forward. And all of that is a whole nother subject, right? But just for, just, just for as a software solution, there is a software, you know, the, the Xbox system has a setting that allows you to kind of control your usage, your child's usage. And you also get weekly reports so you can analyze how much time they're spending on, on game. And sometimes you can kind of correlate that to some of that behavior. So if you notice that they're spending so much time on the game and you also see that during that week that they spend all this time, their behavior fluctuated accordingly, maybe you can associate the two there. Sometimes those things are cor correlated and then you can kind of re reduce that time and then see how that affects the child's behavior. But there's tools out there. That's a solution. Um, thank you for coming to the JIL Software Solutions business channel. Check us out at www jilsoftwaresolutions.com. And then I just want to mention that JIL Software Solutions is providing grants to entrepreneurs who want a website presence. You get a 12-month domain along with um, hosting, and we design a single-page website for you. So check us out at www.jilsoftwaresolutions.com. Uh, check us out again. And there's a button that says subscribe at the top. Please press that and, su and subscribe to this channel so that you can get more of our updates. Um, thank you and have a good day.